It's Holly again. I'm already going to apologize for the lighting because I always apologize for the lighting. <laughs> Someday it's going to be better. <laughs> All right, it's another palette grab bag. I don't have too much time today, so I'm going to try and be quick. I'm going to mix these up. Just have a few more, not too many, and I'll probably be coming back with a foundation video at some point in time. All right, oh, so we have Wet n Wild Silent Treatment. Now, I, I don't know if you can tell my skin today. I'm going to have to touch up a little bit. I've been wearing the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Foundation um, all day today, giving it another shot. And I don't know if you can see, but, like, I've got some creasing, you know, this crease right here. That's never going to not be there. So, but I have some creasing which is sort of a bummer. Just gonna kind of, sorry, I'm looking all around because there's like weird sounds where I'm at. I'm in a safe place, y'all, because I know you guys really, really care how safe I am. So I tried this foundation on again this morning, and I'll put a a um, update in my other video of it. And it still looks nice, but it just, I don't know. I just, I still just don't think I like it as much as the Wet n Wild, the other Wet, wet the, uh, no, this is CoverGirl. So it's, I don't like as much as, I don't like it. That's probably why I should edit these. Anyway, I don't like it as much as the Wet n Wild one, the cushion. So I'm. this is the Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Palette. I'm sure you guys all know about this one. This one is kind of like, I don't know if you, I would consider this kind of a classic smoky eye, but this, everyone calls this a taupe. In my opinion, that's not a taupe. It's got too much purple. It's like a lilac, like a dusty lilac color. But everyone says it's taupe. I don't know. I guess, I mean, now that I look at it here, it is, but usually, like, if I see it in the store, it always looks like a dusty purpley lilac, which is a color that I love. So I'm just going to take the lightest shade and put it just all over as kind of like a base. I have got to take my daughter to an eye doctor appointment today, so I'm not going to do, like, a crazy, crazy eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the colors that are in here, but I'm just going to make it pretty subtle. So I'm putting that taupey shade, taupey, lilac-y, purpley shade. I'm just going to put that on my lid and, and into the crease. I'm really diffusing it though, so it's just like a wash of color, like a haze. And again, this is another Wet n Wild palette and these little trios, I think they're called color icon, I'm not sure. Anyway, these little trios are really, really nice. They're just like the 8-pan larger palettes. I'm just going to diffuse that color all everywhere. And again, like, this is all shimmery. Like, this brow bone highlight is a um, satiny finish. This, it says crease, but it's like a really dark, it's like a black or like the darkest brown you can think of with like a coppery bronzy sparkle in it and then this bottom one that I just used this purpley taupey shade is uh, like a shimmer shade so there's not a matte color in here so if that matters to you it doesn't have it but you know I've said before I don't really care about that kind of stuff there's no mirror on it so if that matters to you and I do tend to use little mirrors all the time even when I'm at home like right now I'm using my rear view mirror, you know, because that's the mirror I have to hand when I want to see my whole face, but then when I need a little close-up look, I do use small mirrors, so it's, I mean, I usually will have one somewhere around, so it's not, you know, um, imperative that I have one in every single palette that I own. And so I'm just taking that dark shade, the darkest shade, and running it along my lash line. It's kind of like a smudgy, defining shade. 
Now on the thing it says to, on the uh, eyeshadow palette itself, it says to put that in your crease. Um, I guess you could do that. I don't know. It's it's pretty dark. I've used, I've had this palette for a long time. I don't know if you can tell, but I've had it for a very long time. But because it's a pretty dramatic one in my opinion, it doesn't get used as often as like that NYX one that I had, so. There you go, just a little bit smudgy on the lash line. Grab some lashes and we are done. So anyway, I've had that for a long time and I, I've i used it a lot, but I've never put that dark shade in my crease. I might just try that one time just for the fun of it, just to see so you guys can kind of get an idea of like what it would look like. This is a really good mascara as well. It's the Flawless Definition by Bare Minerals. It is really good. Like, makes your lashes so long and they don't stick together. Watch, I'll have a stick together incident right now. So yeah, back to what I was saying about the mirror. I don't know, I watch other videos, especially ones that talk about, um, what they don't like to hear people say, just because I, I try to gauge, like, I don't want to be, like, annoying or whatever, and I want to do things that people actually want to see, but at the same time, I'm like, everyone's got an opinion, you know? And I think people just want to watch drama. But regardless, everything I say is always my opinion. I am not an expert, and obviously you don't have to do anything anybody says. We all have our own free will. So just keep that in mind when you watch videos. I have a blush today, and I had already put a little bit on earlier today. So, but yeah, I was actually going back. See, this is my train of thought, like, is constantly disrupted. I can never finish a thought. Anyway, so the reason why, um, sometimes it's nice to have a mirror, like, um, you know, if, like, I, I don't travel a lot, but, you know, sometimes I gotta toss stuff in my purse, especially, like, on a Sunday morning, if I'm a little bit late for church or whatever, um, or if I'm running behind or whatever, and I'm like, oh, I'll just finish my eyes in the car. If I toss this eyeshadow palette in there, it doesn't have a mirror, so I can't look up close and does it matter necessarily? No, I guess not. I mean, I probably would still buy this and be, and I wouldn't be like, I'm not getting that because I ain't got a mirror. You know, I probably wouldn't be like that, but it is nice to have like a small mirror on hand with this, With so this does not have that if you're interested in it, if that matters to you. But there we are. I don't know if you can see well. I'll try and give you a good look. I really like this kind of a look because um, it's got that pretty like smoky definition at the lash line, which I really like. Um, I love that purpley taupe shade and this really pretty peachy high, highlight brow bone highlight shade is really nice. Um, it's just a, that's just such a good classic one. If you want like, if you don't have a lot of makeup or even if you do, like, um, you know, obviously you can probably find, whoops, find all of these type of shades in your collection somewhere and I'll have to look into that because I want to say I don't I've got a lot of eyeshadows but I don't think I have a this color of a shade in any of my collection except for this so anyway um these are about three dollars I think so I mean technically five dollars for a large one and three dollars for a smaller one you know this is a better deal but these colors are not in any of these so it's all about what you prefer if you're willing to drop a couple bucks for a for a cute, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a lip on. I think I'll use this one because it's a little bit more nude. So if you're willing to drop a couple bucks for a cute little eyeshadow trio, they're really good.
And so, all right. Again, I've got a really exciting and fun video coming up on tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to do it. I'm so excited. Um, it's yeah, what you guys are going to watch it and be like, really? This is what she was all excited about? I just am. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, yeah, so like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload another video. And in keeping with my long-standing tradition of bad decisions, I'm going to say cheers, y'all. See you next time.